Hey guys, it's me again, and I have four new, brand new, Alien Remix figures. They had one of each of these on the shelf, and I grabbed them all. Of course, they had all of the older ones as well, but guys, I was so stoked to see these. Now, I did know that they have released Bo Peep, even Wally from Wally, and then also Barley from Onward, but unfortunately, I have not been able to find those yet. So I'm gonna show you guys the ones I did find while I was hunting those. Kinda strange, but anyway, I have, let's see, 33, 34, 35, 36. So this is so exciting, you guys. There's two new Toy Story ones. We've got a Coco one, and of course we've got Kevin from Up. So super stoked about this. I'm gonna show you each one up close in the packaging. So here is Kevin from Up. He is just one of my favorite characters. I think I did show you guys the pop of him. It is so, so cool. I'm totally fine with owning the Funko Pop and the Mattel one of this particular one because <sighs> Kevin, just Kevin. I feel like some of you will understand. Anyway, guys, we'll get that open in a minute. We've got Ernesto de la Cruz. He is from Coco. He is number 33. Kevin is number 36. I'm working on trying to get the numbers together, guys. I didn't pay attention to the numbers at the beginning and I'm not sure if they matter too much, but trying to help everyone out here. All right, Combat Carl is number 34. I love him so much. I really hope that they make the white and orange ones and the white one needs to have the high five thing going on. That doesn't ruin anything from the movie, but just yes, just yes, so here he is most of the back of the packagings are pretty much the same thing we do finally have a mattel zerg figure which looks really similar to the funko one so i did buy the funko one but I, you know of course i had to have all the mattel figures because they're my favorite over the funkos for this particular series all right guys i'm gonna get all of these open and show them to you guys however i'm gonna show you how to open them if you would like so these are newer packagings and they come a little bit different every time that they release them it seems like but this time there are stickers on the top of this so you're gonna need to cut these two stickers tape things on here and then there's two towards the bottom so you're gonna need to cut those and then the whole thing should come up and open like this so this is kind of nice for collectors because now you can keep this protected in the box if you're not going to play with it all the time so it'll collect dust and things like that so you can keep it protected in the box or you can pull it out and play with it give it to a kid whatever you want to do with that all right this one has little twisty tabs on the bottom of it so i am not a collector in in the save things in the package sense which is maybe bad to some people and I know it decreases the value of my collection, but I feel like not playing with it decreases the value of my collection to me, which is more important than the next person who buys it. So I got him off his little peg things. I can still save the box if I want and I could keep it in the box. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna keep it in a pizza box. I actually just got a big Lumal Nadi's pizza box. It's a big square one. It's awesome. So I'm probably gonna keep them in there until I make a Pizza Planet rocket ship, which of course if I do that I'll do a video for you guys. It's gonna be awesome. I gotta have a bigger container because they just keep coming out with new ones and I'm so excited. Okay, so that's how you open them you guys. I will get all of them open and then I will show them to you. Hold on just a minute. Okay, just a note on the unboxing. This is a direction that needs to turn kind of outwards for both of them in order for the toy to come off of it. I really hate these little twisty things. They're not my favorite on packaging. They're actually one of my least favorites and I really wish Mattel would stop doing this particular one, but I guess it makes it nicer for displaying and things like that. I don't know. It's frustrating. For me, it will probably be frustrating for several parents trying to get these out of the box, but there you go. Okay, guys, I got them open. It was a struggle because of those little twisty pull-out, I don't even know what to call them. Anyway, 
I got them. Kevin! Okay, so here is Kevin up close. You can see he's even got details inside of his feathers here. I love this extra set of eyes with the beak. It almost looks like a little baseball hat or something. Super cute. He's got detail in the feathers in his body and everything as well. And he's even got his little alien hands you can see peeking out under these feathers that he's got over him. I mean, this is so detailed and so gorgeous. I just love it. That's what he looks like up close. Now he does have the 360 degree head turn. And this one seems a little bit squishier than usual. I can kind of squish his head in, which is, I don't really know if they did that on purpose or not. And, oop, that joint was a little bit tight, but he does have the movable arm joints here as well. So those spin. And unfortunately, that is all for this particular character. I really wish it had come with an accessory of the baby birds or something, but then I guess it would have to come with three accessories, so I don't know. But I'm really kind of hoping that this figure and the Funko figure are slightly different sizes because maybe I'll grab like three of these as the babies and then have a larger one to be Kevin. So very excited about that prospect. Unfortunately, I don't know if we'll be able to find that many because I grabbed the last one that was in the store. I got the last one of each of these and was super, super thankful. Guys, it's amazing how much more often these stores seem to stock things than stores in Louisiana. So it's been a wonderful experience hunting toys in Illinois. I will just tell you that much, at least in the part of Illinois that I'm in versus the part of Louisiana that I'm normally in. So yeah, I found some cool stuff. Anyway, guys, here is Ernesto de la Cruz. He's got all of this great detail on his hat. All right, I think that's as close as I can bring it for it to still focus, but he's got all this detail even in his hat, in his little hair tuft thing that's going on. I mean, gosh, these are just so gorgeous. And it's hard to see a lot of the detail because, again, it's white on white. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but that is how his costume is. So there's really not a lot they could have done about that. Okay, he does have the 360 degree head spin, of course. And then he's got the movable arms. So, so, so cute. Oh, I just... I love these so much. It's like my favorite toy that Mattel has come out with. I want all of them. I want them to keep making them. I don't know how long they're going to go on, but I will keep collecting all of the Pixar characters. It's going to be a really bad, really, really, really bad obsession. Okay, guys, here's the 360 degree head spin. And then, of course, the arms. And I'll show you up close everything on Combat Carl. Check out this detail in his mustache. He's got half-closed eyes on this one. Oh man, this is so cool. This is another one that would be kind of fun to have a couple of them. He does still have the army spots on his pants. Kind of hard to see. I, I feel like they had uh, brown spots instead of green over green on this. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But there's lots of detail in through this vest. Little straps and whatnot. It looks legitimate. I'm pretty excited about it. And of course I love all the Toy Story ones. And then he, he's got the little antenna still sticking out of his afro here. This is just, this is beautiful. I love it. Okay. Last but not least, we have the Zerg one. You can still see his antenna sticking out of this costume as well. So I know it doesn't have the whole faceplate and everything, but this is also how they did the Funko Pop. So very similar stuff, except this one's chest plate is going to be black. I think they had two different Funko Pops that came out. One that had a metallic silver chest plate, and then I'm not sure what the other chest plate was, but I, it was slightly different colors, so maybe it was black? I I don't know, you guys. I think I got the silver chest one, but I don't even remember right now. I didn't buy both because that's just obnoxious. They weren't different enough, but he does have the... Oh, it was a little tight there, but he does have the movable arm joints, and his arms actually kind of stick out at different angles here, so he does this villainous wah -ah 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 happening here, so that's kind of beautiful. Very, very excited about that big old grin on his face, and I think each of these have some, some slightly different facial expressions. This one's kind of a straight line. It's not even really a smile or a frown here, but y'all, these are just... So, so, so cute. The comparisons here. Here's all the, all the little guys that I picked up. Oh, I just, oh, I love these so much, you guys. I can't. All right, let me know what you guys thought of these down in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed the content and have not had a chance to subscribe yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below. Click the thumbs up to leave a like so we know what kind of content to keep posting for you guys. 
and then go check out my channel. I've got plenty of other tour reviews and other fun things on there, and I am, when I get back home, going to upload some more toy mods for you guys since those have been pretty popular with you. So, I need to get some stuff up. I know I'm slacking working on it. So I will get those up soon. And yeah, until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.